What's up guys, Coco Jobro here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be going through the Shrine of Secrets perks. We're going to go through all four perks. I'm going to let you know which one is the best to pick out of the four. And also too, I'm going to give you a little bit of tips on how you can combo those perks with different perks, whether you're playing Survivor or if you're playing Killer. So let's go right into it. So right here you can see that we have four perks. Two of them are always going to be dedicated to the killer and two of them are going to be dedicated to survivors. So let's go through it. Now the weakest one in my opinion is going to be your predator perk. It's a wraith teachable. And mainly what this perk does is if you read it, it says scratch marks left by survivors will spawn slightly closer together. Now. The more and more you play killer, the more and more you'll get better at knowing where survivors are going, you'll predict their movements. If you play a lot of survivor like I did before I played killer, when you jump onto killer, then you start thinking like a survivor. You'll know where they're going next, you'll know what they're going to try to do to juke you or try to mind game you. So a lot of times with this, you don't really need the scratch marks to be closer. You just need to know where the survivors are going. So in my opinion, I feel like this one is not really worth spending 2000 shards on. Um, if you're limited on your shards and you don't know which one to choose, I'll let you know which the best one is. All right, so let's go up to the next one. So we have Colophobia, and mainly this is a clown teachable perk where if someone is in your terror radius and they're trying to heal, there's a 30% penalty for their healing. Also too, you can combine this with so many different perks. Uh, you can combine this with distressing, which amplifies your terror radius. It's really good on doctor if you're trying to do like a static blast. Um, you can even run agitation. So when you're carrying a survivor, I believe your terror radius is, is amplified by 12%. Also too, you can do um, thanophobia. Like I mentioned, you can have that 4% regression and if everyone's pretty much injured that's a 16% plus if this is tier 3 it's a 50% so you already have a 64% penalty with healing if you can also run sloppy butcher too, sloppy butcher will um, make the healing process considerably more longer so maybe if you even want to run that with even Legion um, just anyone who, who has a big terror radius you can you can pretty much combine that and really slow the game down in terms of the healing process um, you can even run that with plague if people want to kill and cleanse or what have you um, so then let's go over to technician so technician is a teachable perk with Fing. Uh, fingman this one is not really good i see this one along with predator as like a newbie perk if you're new to the game you don't really know how to play um, it's kind of more of like a, I call it like a second chance perk. Um, so mainly what Technician does is your sound when you're on the generator, you know, like the cranking sound and everything, that is actually reduced by eight meters, which is kind of cool because if a killer, like myself, mainly what I do when I play killers, I kind of just roam around gens. I don't really go exactly to the gen. Um, I just kind of, you know, graze right by it. And if I hear someone working on it, or if I hear the, the cranking, then I'm like, hmm, okay, let's go over there. So this is actually really helpful because if you're um, going against a killer like myself, then you might be able to save yourself from detection from that eight meter uh, protection or that buffer. Um, also too, if you fail a uh, repaired skill check, so if maybe you're really bad at skill checks, maybe you're, you know, talking to your chat and stream, then that really helps too because you have a 30%, 40%, or 50% at tier 3. So pretty much you have a 50-50 if you mess up. It might explode, it might not, but you know, it's kind of like a little crutch perk for yourself to use. So that one's pretty cool. Um, let's go over to the last one. So the last one, and in my opinion, is probably the best one, especially if you like to loop or extend your chases, is Dead Hard. So this is a David uh, David King teachable perk. Uh, mainly what we're doing here is you're kind of getting some in invincibility frames. So for instance, if the killer is going to M1 you and going to attack you, you can actually dodge it if you time it just right. A lot of times with the servers, it's really finicky. You know, it, it's just hit or miss. I personally, I don't really use it more for uh, not for dodging, but more for extending that that loop or that chase. So you might see some, you know, advanced players using dead hard to dead hard towards a, a window or maybe towards a pallet. 
it's not so much just to dodge the attack but to extend the chase so then you jump through the window and then you extend that loop some more so wasting the killer's time is the best thing you can do as survivor don't just stand at a pallet right and then just wait for the killer and slam it down no keep running keep looping keep wasting their time because the more you waste time the more you're giving your friends on the gens more time to do it so you can use that um, even if <laughs> even if you didn't know you can use it to dead hard over trappers traps it is so funny to see a trapper you know block you off in a choke point whether you're in you know the the gas haven then you're in the garage and you're looping around that truck and then he puts a trap down at the door and he thinks he has you <laughs> and you just dead hard and he just stands there like what the heck it's so funny so personally I would definitely, if you only have limited shards, buy, uh, get dead hard. And I really love the Shrine of Secrets because if you don't have money for these DLCs, um, you're getting these perks. And sometimes, even if you get the DLC, you gotta level these people up to 30, level 34, or excuse me, level 35, or even level 40. And that might take, you know, you know 800,000 blood points. And you don't got time for that. And you just wanna get this already in your blood web. So it's really cool. So you got a couple days left definitely get dead hard you know maybe if you want to run a, a slow healing build get the color phobia um, these two perks you can learn you know where they're going on your own you don't need predator technician just get better at skill checks and if you hear the killer coming towards you you know just walk away or run away um, get distance with the killer there's certain killers that might sneak up with you like wraith or you know ghost face or even death slinger too with his reduced terror radius but you know, just start walking away, maybe walk in the opposite direction that you hear them coming in, um, or just run to the nearest looping area and just kind of get better with that too. So, yep, that's my take on it, guys. If you have any more questions, I stream on Twitch. Coco Jobro is my name. Um, also, too, we're going to be posting a lot more Dead by Daylight content. So if you guys are interested, definitely hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And again, thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you guys next time.